boy, they're back in this time they remember to record audio hello, hello. looking for us. I'm Sam Meyer, Hi. somewhere. And today, that somewhere is, we are at the Burlington Regal for another out of the theater movie review. It's Thursday night, that means it's movie night, and tonight's movie is Kung Fu Panda 4. Of Kung Fu. Yeah! Kung Fu Panda 4 is a DreamWorks animation movie. I really like Kung Fu Panda 1 better than Kung Fu Panda 4. Uh, inconceivable! I like Pixar better. And it was really good. Let's jump right into our review. Ooh! I'm in. My first reaction, it was interesting overall. Adam up, you're up. What was your first reaction? <laughs> this is my first time seeing a Kung Fu Panda movie. I wasn't really expecting much, but um, I was entertained. I hear some boys and girls in the background. Don Solo, what was your first reaction? Uh, I like all the Kung Fu Panda movies, so first reaction was very good. Inconceivable! Let's move on to the positive things. My positive things was I liked the animation. I liked the panda that voices Jack Black. He did, he really did an amazing job. And I liked the music that was in the movie. And I liked the action that was in the movie. The action was great. Adam, what, what were your positive things? The DreamWorks animation was excellent. Kind of expect that now. The the action scenes. They, the Dream, DreamWorks loves their action scenes. I noticed that with... Uh, uh, what was the last one we saw with the cat, the talking cat with the sword? Um, Puts and Boots? Puts and Boots, and boots yeah. yeah. So th they had a lot of that in there, and it was funny. And to me, it seemed like Jack Black was a little little tamer than he normally is in a movie. So that was kind of a good thing as well. Inconceivable. Don Solo, what were your positive things? Uh, just a simple movie that just bring the family to and enjoy and a simple good movie. Let's move on to the negative things. My negative things was I don't have any too many negative things at all. Adam, what were your negative things? Can't argue with that. I'd, I'd have to like really uh, think about it to come up with something that was that was negative but nothing off the top of my head. Don Solo, what were your negative things? The really only negative thing I have is uh, the Fab Five wasn't in the, involved. A uh, little sneak peek at the end, or a little, but no, no dialogue, no, no main characters, and uh, I miss them. I like them. Let's move on to the rating. I would rate this movie nine out of ten. Adam, up. What would you rate it? Six out of ten. And I, there was one other thing I did want to say. If I can think of it. He wanted to say it was nice to see a movie um, that wasn't I'll, I'll, ours I'll long. Come back. I'll come back to it if I remember. <laughs> Don Solo, what would you rate it? I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's a good family movie. Would he pay to go see it or... You can just wait for streaming. <laughs> um, I'd pay to go see it. Um, I would pay to go see it too because it was a really good animation movie. Don Solo, what do you think? I say pay to go see it. It's a great movie to bring the family to. Enjoy with the kids. Definitely worth it. Well, well, well. We did it all. We took care of the chicken business, we watched a movie, and we talked about it. Nice work, pal. Stay tuned for more out of the theaters movie reviews coming to my channel very soon. So if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. And you could subscribe anytime because it's free for you. Okay guys, thanks for watching and we will see you real soon. That's my line. See y'all real soon.